Hello, it's Mr. Brown here. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all keeping safe. I uh, just wanted to take the opportunity today to speak to you about the current goings on at school, give you an update on remote learning and talk to you about the current news about when we may be able to start returning all children back to school. You've probably seen in the news that the Prime Minister has said that schools may start returning uh, for all pupils from the 8th of March. It's likely that that might be a phased return, but does depend on the coronavirus rates in the country and in the area as well. At the moment in Milton Keynes, um, although there's been some really good news in terms of a decrease in positive tests, a decrease in deaths across the last seven days, and a decrease in the number of patients being admitted to hospital, unfortunately, infection rates are still above average so we'll have to keep our fingers crossed and wait and see uh, what happens as we head towards the 8th of March. The 8th of March is the earliest time at which more pupils will be able to return to school. We've been told that we will get two weeks notice when we are able to start reopening to more pupils. Of course, we'll let you know as soon as we've had that two weeks notice. At the moment, we have 75 children in school at Orchard. They're operating across five bubbles, so in five different classes. And that's about 23% of our children at school, which is quite a high percentage, and I'll come back to that in a little bit. Most of these children are classified as vulnerable children under the government's definitions, and some of them are also classified as uh, the, the children of critical workers, uh, and that's why they are in school at the moment. For those of you that aren't in school, hopefully you've been accessing our remote learning on the website. You get to that by clicking the three little lines on the school website, then clicking Home Learning and Home Learning 2021. Also, last week we've published our remote education offer. This is a document that outlines everything that we're going to be offering uh, in terms of remote learning and gives you a full rundown as to how we intend that working. One thing we've changed over the last week is we have begun to use Microsoft Teams more. So you should have had the login for your child's email address and password for Microsoft Teams. And we have been running live sessions across the last week. We're aiming to do at least three of those a week using Microsoft Teams. Teams is an app that lets us do live sessions and lets us connect uh, the pupils and teachers through um, setting work, writing, et cetera. Um, and I know they've been, it's been very well used so far. If you haven't already, you can download the Teams app um, by going to office.com, look for Microsoft Teams. If you've got a laptop, you can download the app. If you've got a mobile device, you can download the app. But you can get onto Teams through a web browser, uh, and you can use your web browser on a PlayStation or an Xbox as well. To do that, just go to office.com, Sign in with your child's email address and password that we've sent you by text and click on the Teams icon. It might ask you to download the app. You can either choose to do that or you can choose to just continue on the web using your web browser. Once you're in Teams, either through the app or on your web browser, you'll see a menu like this. You should see your child's uh, class up here on the Teams section. When we go into the calendar, that's where you'll see the live sessions that teachers have invited children to. If it doesn't show calendar down the side here, you might need to click the three dots. Once you're in the calendar, this is exactly what you'll see. If a teacher's invited your child to a live session, you'll need to click on that and then click join and wait for the teacher to invite you into the session. If you have any problems accessing Microsoft Teams, please do make sure you get in touch with our office staff we were happy to help with things like passwords, et cetera. Once you're joining a live session, make sure you click allow for your camera and microphone. We have sent out all of this information to you by email and we've sent out these protocols to you as well. One thing we would ask please is that um, you are supportive of your child and not uh, prompting them or feeding them answers to questions that teachers are asking. By all means, be in the room with them. That's not a problem at all but give them the opportunity to express themselves without fear of getting things wrong, just like they would do in a classroom. Uh, give them the opportunity to, to be themselves, please. Don't be sat behind them, uh, prompting them, giving them answers. 
let them let them do what they would normally do in a classroom. All of these protocols, as I say, have been emailed out to you and are available on the school website too. If you're having problems with Microsoft Teams, by all means, get in touch with the office staff. Please be patient with them though. They are not IT experts, they're not technical experts, and they are school administrators, so please don't get frustrated with them. Uh, they will do their absolute best to help you. The thing to bear in mind is that Microsoft Teams does look different on different uh, devices. So it might be very difficult for them to help you over the phone because they might not necessarily know what you've got in your, on your screen in front of you. Um, if you are struggling, I would recommend using the Microsoft Teams help and learning page. There's lots of information there on how to use Teams, how to get started and how to use it particularly um, through school. There are videos, uh, articles, lots of different ways that you can get help if you are struggling using Microsoft Teams at home. The other major part of our remote learning offer, as hopefully you know by now, is the daily sways. And these are again on the home learning section of our website. There's a weekly task, a weekly sway, sorry, for, for PE, and there are daily sways for each year group. If you click on the little expand button here, that will take you to the, uh, the expanded version of the daily sway, which looks something like this, so it's much easier to see. You've got an outline of the day's tasks, you've got the amount of time that it should take your child to do those tasks, and it'll tell you uh, if there are any live sessions or assemblies going on that day. It's through the daily sways that we gauge the level of interaction with the children, so it's really important that your child logs onto those if at all possible and does the little quizzes as they go down because it's the quiz that feed back to our teachers to let them know how your child's doing and that they are engaging. We are making phone calls to families where their children are not engaging, finding out why and asking if there's any additional support that we can give. Another thing we've been doing is live assemblies on Monday. Uh, I send out the links to those on Teams and also to parents via email and text. They happen at mon on Monday at 8.55 every week uh, and they've been quite well attended so far. It, it's a nice opportunity for children to be able to interact. They can interact by typing to me. I can see the messages that they send and I publish any that I think are really nice uh, and ask questions in assembly at times. If you can't make any of those assemblies for whatever reason, they are recorded and uploaded to our YouTube channel. So it's really worth following our, uh, subscribing to our YouTube channel and also liking our Facebook page because that's the best way to stay up to date with all of the goings on. As part of uh, online assemblies, we've been doing home learning stars. Home learning stars are children that have done really well at home with their remote learning. Uh, if they have emailed us at one of these email addresses for their year group, giving us examples of the work they've been doing, pictures, etc., then they are likely to be nominated for our home learning stars each week. Uh, these were our four home learning stars this week. And as you can see here, Damaris sent us some fantastic pictures of her volcano paintings. And she also sent us an example of some of the story work that she'd been doing too, which is absolutely brilliant. So well done, Damaris, and well done everyone who has been taking part in home learning and emailing us their work. We are always keen to improve our offer of remote learning. So please do get in touch with us when we send out our survey to parents in the next couple of weeks. We really want to hear your feedback and try and support you as best as possible. We know remote learning is really, really difficult. We know it's been very tough for you supporting your children at home. We've provided well over 40 laptops now to, to parents and families that needed them. And we're just very keen to support you as best as possible. If you're really not getting on with the online devices, etc., then please make sure that you, um, you get in touch with us for a paper pack because we can provide paper as well. As part of the live sessions we've do, been doing, they've been working really well. Um, they've been well attended so far. We've been very pleased with the attendance. And it gives the children that little bit of social interaction that they need at this time, as well as a chance to have a conversation face to face with a teacher. Lots of parents have been asking me why we're not doing live lessons every day. Um, the answer is because of staffing. We've got 23% of our children in school. On average, schools have got far fewer children than Orchard and Shepherdswell. Um, most secondary schools have only got 5% of their children in. Uh, on average, across Milton Keynes, schools have got 13% of their children in school. We've got much higher than that, and that makes staffing of live lessons 
very difficult to do all day, every day. However, um, we also think that a blended approach is the best way to go because it means that if you've got lots of children in the home, you're not all trying to use the internet at the same time. By doing the daily sways, you can choose to do those at a time which is convenient to you. You might be working during the day, so you could pick those daily sways up in the evening with your child if you wanted to, um, or you can stagger the times which your different children are doing daily sway work so that your internet isn't being clogged up while you might be trying to work and do online meetings, etc. Ofsted published this document recently, which did confirm that from their findings, live lessons aren't always the best anyway, despite the kind of general feeling um, that, that seems to be coming through. Uh, we think our blended approach of doing some live sessions and some, uh, some of the online work is working well at the moment. As I said, we know that mental health uh, is really challenging at the moment. The letter I'm sending out that accompanies this video uh, has some links to uh, the Mind Charity, has some links to um, uh, videos, tips on how to support your children and their well-being. So please do check those out on the letter that accompanies this video. If you need to get in contact with us for whatever reason, whether it's that you're struggling with your children at home, um, if you need support with the remote learning, if you need paper packs, etc., then do get in touch with the school office, at either that number or the uh, email address. If it's a safeguarding concern, please get in touch with Mrs. Sam James. You can speak to her by ringing the school. If it's an emergency, then you can ring that number on screen as well. Visit the school website and keep in touch with us through the home learning emails. That's really, really important. I hope that's been useful to you, for you. Um, as I say, there is a letter that is going out with this video as well. So please make sure you check out the letter and have a look at it. We're really hoping to be able to see you all again soon. Please do take care. All the best. Bye.